yeah, we, we can we can see that as a physical mind, we're just here to perceive our reality, just be in the moment, just go with the flow, as they say, just like naturally and easily go with our excitement and the understanding and belief that our reality is always supporting us. And from here, we just we just we don't we don't know when we need to make decisions. We don't think, oh, I need to make a decision about this and this now. I've got to you have to use my mind to do it. That's not how it works. We we wait. We start. We we stay in the high vibration of frequencies, and when our higher self feels it's relevant for us to receive information on the next step of our journey, we will receive downloads. We will receive like visions, images within our mind's eye if we're very psychically open. Um, we will receive excitement, which is the main modality of communication from higher self to lower self to physical mind through the physical brain because everyone understands excitement, everyone can feel excitement. So, so this, is what's, this is what's occurring. The, the physical, the higher mind, is us as a higher self, we are conceiving for ourselves and we're of course not fully aware of this and uh, most of us, I'm certainly not fully aware of this process, uh, my true higher self, but I, I feel myself as my higher self a lot more these days, but our higher self is conceiving our reality, what's going to occur over the next few days, weeks and probably months and it's giving downloads through through the cosmos, through the galaxy in a sense, because this is our vibrational antenna through the energy body into the physical brain, into the physical brain, the receiver of information, and the physical mind, I guess, the, the intuitive body, it's not really, we don't really, really need the physical mind, we can just receive the information and intuit how we are going to act upon that in physical reality, because obviously often it's very simple, we don't need the physical mind, we'll just get a a vision of going to the beach you know why do we need to think about that like um, it's just go to the beach this is how we're supposed to operate and so yes yeah, so this is the framework of how a fourth density human a fourth density individual where we're going into now and what we're exploring more further in the course operates and so so just quickly the higher densities fifth density is pure spirit, as I understand we become like pure consciousness, pure awareness, we can really do anything we want, like mould into any experience we want, so it's kind of an inward experience, it's like we're just like, kind of going inwards into our ultimate self and like experiencing everything that can be experienced in creation for our growth and our understanding, and once we've experienced everything that can be experienced in creation, we shift into sixth density which is kind of a blending of fourth density and fifth density because fourth density is very much about service, service to others. It's like we've, gone, we've learned the lessons of third density that we are here to operate from unconditional love and unconditional love really only wants to serve its fellow humans. So we, we've gone through the lessons of fourth density, we've gone through the lessons of fifth density of being perhaps becoming from a certain perspective more selfish of course it's not selfish at all because it's part of the natural growth and expansion of consciousness to want to explore itself and know itself and it wants to know itself so it can grow into sixth density and become even more wise and serve creation even greater so so we go through this deep exploration of exploring everything we're excited to explore in creation in fifth density and then as we move into sixth density and this process is like many hundreds of thousands of years um, as we <coughs> and I do believe we can skip densities this is very complicated, a multi-layered subject and perhaps a topic for another time. So don't think like, oh, I'm not going to become fully enlightened because I'm going to have to go through like a billion years of density of evolution. It's not like that. And it's definitely not like that as for us because I believe a lot of us have actually come back from high sixth density, seventh density, even consciousnesses to, um, to, to serve on humanity and earth. And this is what we might call the starseed phenomena or the wonder phenomena. And so, yes, sixth density is like the combination and the learning of everything before it, which of course every density is, but specifically co combining like the wisdom of fifth density combined with the love and the compassion and the service of understanding like a, a, a fourth density reality, like serving humanity through a fourth density reality. It's the culmination of the understanding of both paradigms <coughs> and their their synthesis into a new understanding of pure wisdom 
combined with pure service and the, the only role of sixth density is to be of service. There's nothing left to learn in creation. The sixth density entity has already explored creation in every way creation can be explored and there's nothing left to do except to except to serve. And that's why there's a lot of like sort of angelic entities and high density beings because the sixth density is really the, as I understand it, the last lent, the last density of separation of individuation of like like exploring separate corners of creation or the illusion of separate corners of creation from from like specific perspectives which the angelic realm is because i understand that the angelic realm is kind of like the first realm after pure consciousness after god's self after pure source consciousness awareness so so in sixth density we have like the angels and very like highly evolved extraterrestrial consciousnesses i believe there's like pleiadians or sixth density very loving like non-physical consciousnesses but we could still call them extraterrestrial because they're like connected to like the the pleiadian star system and they still tend to orient around that even though they um evolved past physical incarnation millennia ago so so this is the idea of sixth density like these high density pleiadian beings angels they're just they've explored everything that can be explored in creation and now they're like kind of aligned with the momentum of source the understanding that they are all a creation and the only sane thing to do in life from this perspective is to serve yourself, serve all aspects of yourself, so all aspects of yourself can continue to evolve and experience high levels of love-like clarity, I guess, or wisdom of the mechanics of creation. And so seventh density, as I understand it, is really source consciousness, pure awareness, pure self, pure sentient awareness. And we'll perhaps end this segment on that note. And just as a side note, we could say there's an eighth density, which is the absolute, which is the infinite unmanifest reality, which mirrors itself as the infinite manifest reality, as God, as, infin as infinity, as we know it. So I'm not going to go into this in this course. So we're only going to go up to seventh density because eighth density is a bit of a paradox and it doesn't really exist anyway. So it's not really relevant for the purpose of this course. Other than perhaps you might intuitively sense into it as a like collapsing into the void, like infinite nothingness, like collapsing in on itself and like becoming denser and denser and denser. And it's very beneficial if you can sense into this energy because this is the birthing principle of creation. So when you can access this, it can create a very powerful frequency within us that can enable the channeling state within us. And so on that segue, I will go into the channeling state and we will access and energize within you or to the best of your willingness to open up and match the frequencies that I share through the channeling, open you up from root to chakra, to crown, root to crown chakra, from first density to seventh density consciousness. Because I do believe that most of us here can, or at least those of us attracted and aligned with these sort of courses, these sort of teachings, do have access to all seven chakras of awareness because we do come from very high density realms and it's really innate to us to just really be able to open up our higher chakras and that's why a lot of us have been struggling quite a lot as through the past 10 years through this uh, awakening process because our higher chakras are very open so we're like kind of experiencing like the bliss aligned love like consciousness frequencies of all of creation flooding into reality at this present flooding into Gaia earth at this present but we haven't like balanced our lower chakras we haven't like come to understand our infinite self-worth and our power as creator gods in our reality and our divine perfection and, our, and that we are always loved by creation because we are creation and there's only loving creation and why would we not love ourselves and so we take a few moments to let our mind like just do its thing and that's all okay, okay like we love our minds mind too you are an infinite part of creation but we're just going to spend a bit of time without our mind in up yourself that's always here 
So we don't need to worry about accessing it because we're always in pure self, because pure self is our natural state, it's our natural consciousness. We are always aware of what's occurring. We are always aware when our mind is going crazy. We are always aware when we are going through emotional drama in our relationships. We are always aware when we don't have any money. We are always aware when we are magnificently abundant, because awareness is our true state. And this aware state, this is this is the channeling state, this is the aligned state, this is the fourth density state of consciousness. It's the understanding that we are the reality that we previously existed within. The shift to fourth density is the realization that we are the reality we previously existed within. And the realization that we create our reality vibrationally. And the realization that we are a set of tools, a physical mind, a physical brain, and a higher mind designed to, designed to work in unison within a particular framework as mirrors, as aspects of our, as, 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 as mirrors and symbols of our true nature, as pure self, the higher mind, the physical brain and the physical mind working in unison as a trinity, as creation is a trinity, as, as a reflection of creation as a trinity working together in unison to create a new reality experience, a new way of understanding reality. And, and it all stems from the state of pure awareness, it all births from pure awareness. Pure awareness is the centered state in which we can begin to use the physical mind as it was designed to be used as a receiver of information. It's the centered state, it's the state of presence, of pure awareness, of no mind, but also the state of embracing mind as part of the present moment. So it does not need to be a state of no mind. It's just a state of centeredness, acceptance of the mind as an infinite fractal aspect of the present moment. So from here, if we begin to relax our perspectives, begin to let go of everything in the understanding that our life isn't going to collapse if we forget about our things, our house keys, our bills, our relationships. It's not all going to collapse if we just leave it for 10 short minutes. It's still going to be there when we come back. So begin to let it go begin to see that it doesn't actually serve you to hold on to any of this, but it's okay to go back to it, go in and out of this new understanding. But no, for just for this 10 minutes, we can let go of everything. Our thoughts about the day, our worries about what we need to do in this workshop. Just begin to let it all go. Our relationship crises, our financial abundance, our infinite self-worth, our parallel incarnations in other dimensions. Just let it all go for the present moment. Let it all drift. Let it all be. Let it all just float in its own compartment of space. Give it its own place in reality and just let it be there. But you be here. Be here as the awareness that sees that all things have their own place in creation and they're all perfect and they're all okay. And just let these aspects of our self just be aside for a moment. If they come up, that's okay. Just let them come and let them go. And begin to see what remains when we let everything go. That there's something, there's something still here. We've dropped everything, yet we're kind of still here. We're kind of still aware. There's something still here, we can't pinpoint it but we just know it's here and somehow we know it's us. 
because it's what remains when everything else is gone. So must it be us yet? But do not ponder this for a moment. Just observe that when we let everything go, something remains. The one thing that we can't let go, because it is no thing. Try and let go of it. What becomes into our consciousness, just more of it. We let go of the nothingness and we just become more nothingness. Because nothingness is what we are. Nothingness is who we are because we are all everything. Because everything is us. But also no thing is us because we are no thing. We are the infinite awareness. We are the infinite consciousness that observes all things, but also births, births all things. So we may see that as we are outside of all things, as we are aware of all things, as we are conscious of all things, we cannot be all things, we cannot be anything. Otherwise we would not be aware of that thing if we were that thing. So we can see that we must be the awareness. We must be this space that remains when we drop all things. But we can also see that if all things exist within us, within this space, from the perspective of this space, we can see that we are aware of all things, that somehow all things are encompassed within this space, all things are encompassed within us. So we are all things, so we are no thing and we are everything. And everything must be no thing because it is held within the framework of our no thingness. And from this space of nothingness, from this space of emptiness and pure awareness, we can begin to sense into this emptiness and sense into this pure consciousness and how this field of pure energy, pure self, pure source, pervades our physical body so that our physical body must be us and our physical body must be this pure infinite self-aware consciousness but yet more we can sense this same energy this same nothingness this same infinite sentient awareness that is us we can sense it around us we can sense it in our energy body we can sense it in our aura we can sense it in our surroundings we can sense it in the plants we can sense it in the mountains we can sense it in the asbestos roofing because we are in everything it's that same consciousness this awareness that remains when we let our thoughts go is the same awareness that births all of us all of this because we are this and this is us we birthed it all from this pure awareness from this pure sentient consciousness we are in our heart of hearts in our true self and when we come to see that this pure consciousness, this pure awareness, is in all things, we begin to see that we are in all things because this consciousness is us. And we begin to see that we are infinite, and we are unbound, and we are free, because we are the infinite one, we are the infinite self. And from here we begin to see that we are all realities. We are first density, we are second density, we are third density. We are fourth density, we are fifth density, and we are sixth density, and we are even seventh density, and we are even the eighth density absolute reality that birthed it all. And so seeing that we are these densities, and not just seeing it, but sensing into it, sensing into our infinite self, begin to sensing into our presence consciousness, our source consciousness, our centered energetic self that is there when all things fall away, beginning to sense this, this self, this us, in all things, in our plants, in our environment, in our dwellings, in our planet, in our world, in our galaxy, and in our cosmos, and in our infinite universe, as we begin to sense ourselves, our own energy, our own energy body, as the universe, as the galaxy, as the extraterrestrials, as our own energy vehicle, and as the physical body, we can begin to harmonize, we can begin to merge, we can begin to use the antenna of the physical brain as it was designed to be used as a receiver of information as our as we sit in this state of consciousness with our with our chakras fully aligned and balanced which is the natural 
side effect, the natural occurrence of becoming pure awareness, because pure awareness is the pure light, it is the white light, and as we know the chakras are a spectrum, a fractal of that white light, so when we naturally come into this infinite self through this kind of meditation, our chakras begin to align up, the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, white chakras begin to energize, they begin to orientate and orientate, orient and spin in their correct directions and we begin to become a fully harmonized energy body and this is how we begin to sense into our infinite self. We've activated all our chakras, we've activated our aura and we've activated our greater energy bodies all the way up to infinity and I've kind of given you a, a sidestep meditation by just pointing you back to your infinite self and I hope this worked for you and you got some sort of sense of yourself as an energy being, as a being a pure light, pure consciousness, pure awareness that pervades all of creation. And in section two, we will be doing the chakra meditation as well. If this didn't activate you fully, as I, I hope it did, in a sense, it did a lot of you, even though you haven't seen this yet. So, and that's the ability of the infinite self to be able to sense into past and future, the understanding that there really is no past, there really is no future, that it really is only the present moment. And so, remember yourself as this present moment awareness that pervades all things. Understand that the state of presence consciousness is the channeling state that when we are centered in our being centered in our pure awareness centered in this consciousness that i've just like shared with us through this short meditation and i believe you will have sensed into it it will have begun to activate something within you even if you feel you didn't sense it with your physical mind it is activating something it's beginning to activate and energize within you the energy body that al allows you to know yourself as the infinite energy of creation and from here understands that you are actually the extraterrestrials you are actually the angels you are actually your higher self and you are actually the spirit guides and all interdimensional entities and archetypes and layer of layers of consciousness that you wish to connect to through the channeling